Hey, it's Amy with Amy and Art Designs. Come on in and say hi. I am so excited to be here. We are going to be painting a gnome tray, y'all. So if you're watching this, you're probably watching on the replay. And um, drop hashtag replay so that I can say hi to you. I always love to give you a warm welcome. And if you're new here, make sure that you let me know. Because um, I like to, even if you're not like a, a frequent commenter, it's always fun to be able to, um, I'm getting my, um, to be able to, um, say hi and to know your name. Super important to me to be able to know everyone's name. So let me do this. I am going to start my, start this. Here we go. Okay. Awesome. Hey, Tracy. So we are going to start. Um, oh, Jennifer's following me around. All right, girl. So we're going to start painting the gnome tray. Let me show it to you guys. Um, and then we'll get in and say hi to everybody. Colleen said she got her order. Yeah. I have almost everything shipped out from the weekend, believe it or not. I mean, legitimately, I have a handful of things um, that will go out um, tomorrow and then almost, I, I think everything except um, like the, the add-ons for next month will go on. Sarah says she wants this tray. <laughs> we'll see if we do another run. I just have got to get everything else cut first. This one is time intensive. So this is kind of how it comes. I just unwrapped it. And let's, let me show you what's in here. So we have this little eggplant house. Oh, Tracy was um, stuffing Easter eggs for her grandkids. Girl, that is so sweet. I need to do that. I need to do that. I'll tell you. So we, so, and I'll tell you what we're doing for Easter here in just a minute. But this is the eggplant house. Hi, Cinda. This is the snail. Isn't he cute? Think about what color. So I don't know. Like I feel like the eggplant house. Does it need to be purple? I don't have an aubergine. So I don't know. Here is the, the, the girl gnome. And she's holding a frog with fairy wings. A fairy girl. Here is the always believe in magic. Oh, you do hundreds of them. Oh, I love it. These are the just the little stands. So we'll just paint those depending on how we paint the things. This is... So when we're shrink wrapping, sometimes we move the si signs a little bit so that it lays flat. This is the mushroom house. And it has little stairs. And it has this little flower going up the side with little leaves and two mushroom caps and a little door and a window. There's a window. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, Ginger. Hi, Therese. Yeah, if you drop exclamation telegram, it'll give you a link to my telegram channel. Um, this is the little ladder. Hi, Tammy. And then we have the little boy gnome where it says garden gnomes welcomed. Oh, thank you for the sprinkles, girl. So I am collecting comments over on StreamYard and we'll do a gift away at the end. Okay, if you're not here at the end though, because my person who won last time never showed up. So if you're here at the end, that is helpful if you win. Um, so, we need to decide on colors and part of my head wants to paint it like a very traditional, like a red and some red in the mushroom and then like a, a light purple for the eggplant. But then part of me is like, oh, I don't really love those colors anyway. And I need to choose something different. Hi, Shelly. Hi, Colleen. Thank you for the sprinkles. So what do you guys think? Give me some color ideas. We're going to be like part one and part two on this tray because it's really big. It's really big. I have a 
Eureka Wisteria. This, oh, this is a little too purple. There's some purples. This is kind of how I always decide. I like pop the colors up and look at them. I know this is really cute. I kind of feel like it should be maybe those two to, or these two blend them a little bit. Um, I think we need, he could be blue instead of, you know, I really want to use this cloudy day color a lot. Like I think I might paint him blue there. Maybe his hat blue, red, light, pink, and moss green, jewel tones. I know, I kind of feel like the mushroom has to be some sort of red. Let's start, start with the mushroom and see what we think. I almost feel like he needs to be either like a, like a brown and a green. I don't know. I don't always know. So I think this moss color, I think that this would look great for the boy gnome. I think I want a brown red. If I do a red, I want brown red, not bright red, I think. Like probably maybe burgundy with some brown in it. I have um parchment. Yeah. Yeah, this is a good one. This is like a burgundy, but we'll put some brown in it. I have parchment, which is um, or linen. I know the cloudy day. This is so thick. Oh. Yeah, I like the boy. Um, and then we've got sun kissed peach for their skin. I think the frog needs to be a little darker, maybe clover. I think they all look pretty good together. Maybe a gray. The eggplant is where I'm kind of like, hmm, we can all think about the eggplant. We can all think about it. Okay. I'm looking for a big piece of cardboard. So what are y'all doing today? Tracy's stuffing eggs. I will tell you about that in a minute. Let me grab my big cardboard over here. Oh, yes. I went to Pilates and... I went to Pilates at six and then I came home, saw Luke off to school. It was Joe's turn to drive. Um, because we have a carpool for him. And I'm gonna put my paint colors over here. And then um, I came down, I cut some wood, the boys got up, we did some chores, cut wood, packed orders, cut wood, packed orders, and now I'm painting. Yeah. Oh good. I love keeping you company when you work, Amelia. Okay, I love when you guys can like hop on. Um, okay, let's start with him. I'm going to start with his clothes and then I almost feel like I want to do him in blue. This just plain blue and then do this in blue and then put some stripes on it. Um, oh, Cinda's doing her farmhouse bunny tier trade. That is a fun one. That is a really fun one. Oh, Christina got back from PT. How'd that go? So there's lots of little pieces. So you've got to stay organized with this one. I should have grabbed a tray. So do what I say not as I do because I should have grabbed a tray. And I didn't. Um, I'm going to paint his little boots in this blue also. So the only thing about his boots is you see he's got grass. The boots kind of stop. There's nothing. This sign goes down to here. But those little blades of grass kind of go out. Um, 
onto a shoe. So you just have to be careful with that. Okay. And I am going to get tape and kind of tape these little pieces together. Linda got blood work done in the dog's room. We got the dog's room yesterday. I got a text from the groomer that the dogs were great, but Gracie had gum matted in her fur and I was so embarrassed. I'm like, she's in the middle of that stage where she's like blowing her coat and it's impossible to keep up with. And so like you can brush her and like two days later, she's a mess because she has this big undercoat that comes out. She never sheds except this time of year. So that's smoke screen. And so I was so embarrassed because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, it's so embarrassing. Like you take your dog to the groomer and she's got a big gum mat and you didn't even know about it. Okay, so Easter for us. So we have um, Gabe, my seven-year-old, is he plays club soccer. And um, his first game is the weekend. His first tournament is the weekend after April. And um, the first weekend in April. But my cousins and my sister... Mm, one of my cousins and my sister are going to be out of town for Easter going to see out of town family. And so my aunt is hosting Easter the same weekend as Gabe's soccer tournament. And so, um, I, I just told him, look, if they lose on Saturday, they lose all their games. We can come. If not, you know, we can't. And, we will just be doing, I'm going to do a massive hunt for the boys at home because it's likely that we won't be able to go. That looks good. I mean, and, you know, I mean, it's the weekend after Easter and sports start. And I just, I don't make my kids miss stuff, miss their sports if they, you know, he wants to go. Um you know, obviously they wouldn't have a soccer game Easter weekend, but I wouldn't make him miss it because they work so hard. I mean, he has practice two to three times a week, you know, and what happens is when there's too many people absent from the game, they lose, you know, because they don't have enough players and they work. They really, these kids work hard, you know, if, so and it's, you know, she's having it not on Easter weekend. So I'm sad that we probably won't be able to go, but I'm going to do a blowout um, Easter for them. I should have used a brush. You see, I'm just painting his shoes so that they match. Thank you for the sprinkles, Tammy. Gail's right. It is hard to get everybody together, you know. I was a little embarrassed, though, because she texted everyone on the text thread and, um, Everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'll be there. I wouldn't miss it. I wouldn't miss it. I'll be there. Yeah, we'll be there. And then I'm like, well, sorry, but Gabe has a tournament. And I won't know until probably Saturday, if we can, the Saturday before, if we can come or not. And I was the only person who was not saying, we'll be there. We'll be there. We wouldn't miss it. But the other thing, too, is that um, everyone else has lived there their whole life here, their whole life. And like, that's been their Easter for the last however many years. And we've only been here three years and that has not, you know, that wasn't our thing. Um, Jennifer, yes, I, that is part of it. You have to teach them, look, you joined a team, you know, it, some of some like if you have a family vacation planned or uh, you've already bought tickets to go out of town and then you find because you don't know like you don't learn about the tournaments until until later but yeah like you're part of a team like you can't just leave because there's something else that you think is more fun going on that is my sentiment exactly and I, you know I, I just look you're on a team Okay, they did have practice yesterday and it was 40, it felt like 40 here and it was freezing and, and he's just getting over a cough. And so I did not make him go because it was 40 and freezing. I was just like, you know, sometimes you just do the, make the best mom call that you can, right? 
Kim said that Kim had some, um, her great nieces were born 14 weeks early. And so they canceled their big family Easter. Yeah. Cause they've got a lot going on in their family right now. I understand that. Linda's getting ready to paint her jingle and mingle bunny. Oh, I love it. Jingle and mingle was fun. Wasn't it? Okay. I think I'm going to turn him. So usually when I paint these, like I go in and do everything one color all at once, but I have um, not completely thought through this tray. So we're going to do it in pieces. I've thought about it. I just haven't made all of my decisions yet because there's a lot of parts. My kids are grown. Linda says her kids are grown and the grandkids live, live, live out of town. You miss doing the Easter egg hunts. You're going to have your daughter and sister all over. Yeah, I know. You know, I'm. We have, um, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. But like they won't, like the way that it works in my family is like that's the Easter celebration is a carol. So nobody will do anything any other days. They, um, which is fine. Like we're going to do our own. I'll do our own thing and then I'm just painting this. I could paint this with um, a sponge, but except that I want to be really careful when I get in here to his boots because I just I want it to look like this is grass and not a big random shoelace. <laughs> do I still have some bunny kits left? Yeah, I still have some bunny kits yet left yes yes if you guys still want um a nerdy bunny i have i i because of how jingle and mingle fell i wanted to be able to ship them out right away and so i still have a so like i they got shipped the same day or next day when people ordered them so i still have them they'll get to you before easter yes and they are so stinking cute the little nerdy bunnies um have I been using my paintbrush cleaner? Yeah, it's right here. You can't see it. Let me scooch this over. I've got it. Like right here. Yeah. I love it. I love, love, love. I have not ruined a paintbrush since I started using this. If I don't use it, I ruin the paintbrushes because I forget that I did them. And then, so I think instead of painting this like dark brown, I'm going to paint it linen only because I want to be able to see the words but yeah Jennifer's you you have to teach them like to honor your commitments like you made it a commitment the team's counting on you we actually missed almost no practices we miss almost none I mean it just it was so cold here yesterday and I just was like it was just way too cold um way too cold And I don't want him to like just the the coughs. But these kids practice in rain. I mean, he's seven. Like they they practice in rain. They practice in. It's crazy because our our club does not have an indoor facility. I wish they did. Um, over the winter, they um, when he was going to like clinics, um, we use someone else's locally so this brush is it's a um this is a what i don't know what it's called it's like a paint paintbrush tub cleaner thing and my um paint tray that goes with it is still it's in the sink let me see if i can drying which is why i'm using this but i love it because you rinse it in the back like you take your brush i got it on the amazon this is what i'm giving away in the jcc for people who finish like every month everybody who finishes their project gets put in a drawing and i was giving away the sherbot or glue gun but now i'm doing this but anyway you go in the back and rinse it in the dirty water and then you come up here and clean it and then it's just you can turn it upside down in these little holes and it dries and I got that from Amazon and it has a lid and you can mix your paints here. You can use this as a paint tray too. You can mix your paints. Um, and then it has like little paint 
a little paint pot hole holder, if that makes sense. It's really, it's one of my favorite things. One of my very favorite things. Like you guys know, like there are things I love. My Sherbonder glue gun, my paint markers, my brush cleaner, my scoring and piercing tool, which seems to have run off again. I mean, I don't, I have a new pack. That's okay. Oh, Gail said, did you see what Gail said when her son was in third grade and he was in practice? He broke his wrist and she still made him go. Yeah, you know what? It's so important to learn that at a young age that you know what? You are part of a team. People are counting on you to show up. I didn't play sports. Um, I don't know. I just, we didn't as kids. And I don't think I learned that as a young kid. But like now Gabe is serious. He's like, no, my team's counting on me. My Aunt Carol does put on an amazing Easter egg hunt, though. And so I asked them what they wanted the Easter Bunny to bring for their Easter egg hunt so that they don't feel like they missed anything. I'm very good at that. I'm making sure that my kids feel like they don't miss anything. You know? So. Yeah. It's. You have to teach them that they are part of a team. Okay, so I'm painting his beard, and I'm just going to paint it white, and I'm going to go back and put some gray in it later, I think. I could paint his beard gray, too, but I think it'll be too dark. I think I want it white with a little bit of gray later after it dries. Okay, and then I learned this from Jen Raiden. This sun-kissed peach is a good flesh color. It's apple barrel. So you guys know kind of the hierarchy hierarchy of paint within the folk art family. And Apple Barrel is their entry, like their, their base level. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think it covers as well as like the folk art. And then they have their premium paints, like their floating medium, their home decor chalk, their glow in the dark, their terracotta paints, their glitter paints, their metallic paints, you know, all those other paints. But Um, this is just, it just doesn't cover as well the first time. And so I'm just going to use my brush because it's a small space. So sometimes you have to do a few. Yeah, I think you just learn. So Gail says she try and make your grandkids events. Yeah, I bet that's hard for you with your, your craft shows, but I know they appreciate it. We do not have that. Like... Um, once in a while, someone comes to their games, but, um, not, it's not a regular occurrence, which is okay. We just make sure we go. And sometimes we have two kids with games at the same time in two different places, and the kids understand. And if one of them is really serious about like, like Joe and Luke played a lot of basketball together during basketball season, it was very important that, um, that Joe was at all of his games and then sometimes he'll switch and it's important that I'm there. But I think, so do you guys see that nice, it's just a nice flesh color. I mean, you could do any color, but it's a nice little you know, peachy flesh color. And that's pretty much our boy gnome, like just the base coat for him. And I think I'm just gonna try and get everything like at least coated. Then we'll come back and do some detail. So I'm gonna move him out of the way. Um, Jennifer Raiden said that she's been using a lot. You guys, I have three drinks. I have cappuccino. This is so good. I mean, it's espresso and steamed milk, frost milk. I mean, mm, I made it. It's so good. And then I have water and then I have a Waterloo. I mean, seriously. Seriously. 
it's, I mean, I don't know if that's appropriate, but that's how much I have three things. Um, so Gail says they call it conquer and divide. I know we do too. I mean, cause it's so hard when you've got, but you just, I think too, one of the more difficult things about balancing parenting is like each kid is so different and unique and like gone are the days when you interest them all in the same thing. You know, Nate, Nate really does not care as long as it's comfortable and Nate's in middle school. Okay, guys, which sign next? Mushroom, eggplant, girl gnome. What do you think? Let's go for the mushroom. No one said, so I think I'm going to try the mushroom. So Kim said... She has kids in green kids in Texas that show lambs, mushroom. Well, good. Um, and when the shows are streamlined, your son sends you the links and I, you watch the shows. Um, let me go grab these. Hold on, I'm gonna grab some mushrooms I picked up. I'm just they're in this bin over here. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, Kim, that's of course you do. Of course, you do. I know, you know, it's so good that you do that. I mean, it's so, so important. I think that kids need to know they have community. In Texas, we had a lot of friends that would, um, and we have community here too. It just looks different. Like, so, okay, this is one, I like this. I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Um, these two little ones, aren't they cute? Little mushrooms for this tray in particular. I thought about, I got these and this one has got like a brown with a white on top. That's really cute. And then these two came from the Dollar Treat. Um, they're both really pretty. So don't think it has to be red. I think it could be like gold and green. And maybe we do one red and one gold, like a big red and brown and then some gold. I mean, I don't know. Let's just figure it out. So yeah, those are really cute. These I I found these at the Dollar Tree. I thought this is so gonna be so fun for that for the mushroom tray. I did not find them recently. I found them. Do you guys remember I posted about it? And I asked if you liked the mushroom trend. And most of you guys were like, yeah, no, we do not want a mushroom tray. But I think in this one small piece, it is very cute. Okay. So one of the things I'll tell you, I'm sure Jennifer would agree. Like sometimes the best way to find color inspiration is to like one, look at nature. And two, Sometimes you find something else like the mushroom, you know, that you're going to put on the tray and you're like, hey, um, I like how this looks, you know. So I think sometimes you just kind of have to find some different ways to get inspiration because it doesn't always come like it, it, it just doesn't always come into your head, if that makes sense. Cinda says she has those Dollar Tree mushrooms too. I mean, I thought they were just too cute to leave at the store. Um, I really did. I'm going to do this in linen also. So, no, I think too, um, the kids know, like, and we tell them all the time, you know, we call it like Team Nate, Team Luke, Team Gabe. Hey, Tammy W. I'm always like, you know, we will always be on Team Gabe. I will always be your number one fan. I'm always going to be your number one supporter. There is nothing you can do that's ever going to change that. You know, I always let them know no matter what. I am always on your team. Always, always. And so this morning, Luke decided, thank you for the sprinkles. Lucas decided he wanted to be a chef when he grows up. And I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but when I was in my 20s, I got into the um, Culinary Institute of America. I used to work for Cameron Mitchell. Um, 
in his kitchen. I helped, I, I worked at one of his restaurants in Columbus at Cap City. And then when he opened his Italian restaurant, I helped open that one. And Cameron helped me get into the CIA, the Culinary Institute of America in Hyde Park, New York. But um, at the time, I did not know I had food problems, like food allergies, and I was having all kinds of health problems because of it. And I was too sick to go. So my mom and I actually went up there. We checked it out. I mean, it was so cool. I mean, it was it's the it's a really cool place. And so I um, I was too sick to go and I didn't I didn't get to go. And fast forward, I ended up getting a master's in elementary education and then, you know, I taught for a while and then I started a dog walking company. And then when Joe and I got married, um, I sold my dog walking company and um, I decided to go back to school and I went to baking and pastry art school. And I was, I don't know, three, three or four, three semesters from graduating. And then I got pregnant with Nate and it was a very, um, it was a difficult pregnancy from the beginning because I had to stay off my feet a lot because of what was going on with my body at the time. Cause my body, like it would like my cervix would get too short and it would look like I was going to go into labor. And so I had to stay off my feet. So I never got to finish that. But this morning Lucas told me he wants to be a chef now. And I said, well, if you want to be a chef and someday you open a restaurant, I will come and work for you in the restaurant. And he was like, mom, you'll probably be a grandma then. Are you going to be too old to work in a restaurant? And I was like, nobody. And he was like, okay, mom, you can come work with me. And he gave me a big hug and a kiss. He's like, I'll see you after school. It was like the cutest thing. But who knows if he'll want to be a chef in 10 years. But that's what he wants to do today. And he was telling me all about the benefits of rosemary. And what you should use. I don't even know where he got this from. Like, because I don't know. It sounded like I, I was so cute. Okay, so there we go. I did this on linen also. I used, if you remember, linen on the gnome shelf. So he's so cute. Such a cutie, patootie. Okay, so let's see what we can do with this. So Linda says they video and, and send it to you. That's really sweet. I'm probably not good enough at videoing. Oh, your granddaughter. Oh, that is so cool, Tammy. So she did really well on her test and she's at college level. That is, that is awesome. Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, that's really red. Oh, she's only 14. Holy moly. So is that her communication skills or co college level? Is that what you're saying? That is, wow. That's too red. Let's see here. Oh, I have. Let's get this and mix it up. That is so cool. My gosh. Yeah, you know what? I think, too, like kids need to have, I'm not sure about this red. Um, they need to have, I think, deep roots so they feel safe and secure. And then they also need wings to fly you know what i mean i'm not sure about this we are going to go with it and then i'm probably this might be too dark okay you said 50 percent hearing and she wears it hearing aids and the rest of the time she uses sign language that is amazing this is a really deep 
deep. It's a deeper red than I wanted, but that's okay. It is kind of similar to that, but we're going to do some shading. It's very dark. It's too dark. We're going to go over it again. Like I've already started, and so we're going to like let it go or else it's going to be blotchy underneath the wood. It's a very dark mushroom cap. It's very dark. It's a little too dark. Yes, it's very dark. Hmm. So, and then Joe is at, I think I told you some of y'all this, he's at um, Rock and Jump with the Kids, which is fun. I think it's fun for him. I don't know. He's actually sitting like, not Rock and Jump, Urban Air. Urban Air. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I want to put some... Not that, not that, not that. It might be good for fall, but it's also very dark. I mean, it's 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 a dark red. It's like it's it's a very dark red brown. It's gonna be okay watch so so yeah we're gonna do um this is it, we're gonna sand it and then we're gonna lighten it up you really can't mess it up that i'm confident of i'm cleaning my brush Okay. Oh, Abby loves urban air. Yeah, I don't jump on there. Like, like they go, Joe doesn't jump either. But their, their customer service is amazing. So last time I took them there, and we usually only go, you know, a couple times a year because it's it's expensive and we're busy, you know, but um with three kids, like, and they want to always get the ultimate pass because they like to do the zip lines. See, we're, it's looking better already. So, um, so, okay, I just squeezed my mushroom too hard and broke it. So don't do that, but it's, it's totally fixable. So don't worry if you do, it's just going to get glued down. So don't break your mushroom. So, um, it is so cute, Tammy. I mean, it's just really cute. So, When we last time I took them, they had to close early. I can't remember why. I think it was like they had to do like a deep clean or something. So you see how much that lightened up just with a little bit of sanding. And then I'm going to go back and dry brush it. Um, so they gave me two free basic passes. And so they have like your basic and then your ultimate. And so... With a basic and the ultimate, um, like you, anyway, and so when Joe took them back today, they were short staffed and they don't have enough people to do like all the ultimate stuff all the time. And they said, We'll get someone over there to help, but we just don't have someone there all the time. And so they came over and they gave Joe four free passes again. Oh, there's Joe. Hey, babe. I was just telling them how good the customer service is. So you guys, I just dipped my brush. I'm trying to get Joe to craft with me, you guys. What do you think? Should Joe come and craft with me? I mean, we still have to do the potato chip tasting. It's just kind of been hectic at the green household. But I told him he needs to come craft with me sometime. So I just dipped my brush and I'm good. I'm, I'm like knocking off the extra paint. And then I'm going to go back and forth over this. To kind of lighten it up and we'll see how it looks. That's a little dark, but that's okay. 
I do like this. Yeah. Yes, he should craft sometime, shouldn't he? It would be fun. He said that if I do, it's just, I'm going to do it just to make fun of his bad crafting skills. <laughs> and I said, no, it would just be fun. It would just be fun. We could make something like, Gabe really wants to craft. He's like, mom, mom, I really want to go live with you. I really want to go live. I really just, when can I go live? I really like, he's like, my classmates don't believe that like you go on Facebook and, and you like craft with people. So I really kind of just need to go live just to show them that like I can do it too. Like you do. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, the child cracks me up. Yeah. That looks cute. Joe says he cannot draw a straight line with a ruler glued to the table. I mean, I think you can. Yeah, Gabe is, Gabe is a cutie. He is a cutie. Yeah, he's a fun one. I don't know how long he would last. That's too dark. I don't know how long he would last. I don't know if he would last like a, I think we could do like one little mini sign. I think that's about, um, it's about what his age to attention span, right? He's so funny. Yeah. It will up his street credit school. Yeah. He's so funny to see that child. He's like, and they're all so different, you know, all three of them. So Lucas is off next week. That's pretty much lighter. And it's going to look really cool on this mushroom, I think. See, I think that looks really cool. And it's not too in your face. Like it's not like bright red. You could sand it down just a little more. I was not good in art class in school because they made you draw. I can't draw. Like, I'm not a drawler. I can, like, take shapes and make something out of it, of the shapes, like, in a computer program. Jennifer can draw. I can't draw. This is just better. We dry brushed it. We sanded it down, and then we dry brushed it with a parchment. And it just gives it a little... A little more natural feel okay and then the bottom part of this mushroom i think what i'm going to do i'm going to try to just use a brush and put a wash on it so it's a little brown but not too brown amelia says she's not sure about she wasn't sure about the mushroom colors at first but you like it now yeah i'm I've never painted a mushroom before, but I like that. I think it's going to look good when it's all together and it's a little more muted. I don't want like a bright red mushroom I, for me. Now you guys might be like, Hey, I want like a pink door. And, but for me, I don't want a bright red mushroom. Okay. I think that's going to be a good Brown for underneath there. Dixie. Dixie, I'm sorry, girl. She says now that I'm painting it. She's kicking herself for not getting it. Uh I'm sorry, girl. It was I did I made a lot. So I know like the first time we did the release, especially the gnomes, <laughs> things sold out a little faster than what I anticipated. And so I really made a lot this time. And it just I made a lot more. Yeah, I think that's going to be good. We can always touch it up later. But I think that's going to be cute. Natural feeling. 
Okay. So this, these go on top of the flowers. This, these are greens. Maybe the moss again. So the frog is going to be clover. I guess I'm just going with a brush right now. So is there a new, okay. Bye honey. Have fun. Thank you for taking the kids. We switched days. I was supposed to take them today and he was supposed to take them yesterday. And then I realized what day of the week it was. And I was like, I need to switch with you. That's the truth. I can't make it up because he's listening. <laughs> I was like, wait, I can't. It's Wednesday. I got all confused because it was spring break and the kids were home and I lost track of my days. Do you guys ever do that? So is there a new release this Friday too? No, Linda, uh -uh. next Friday. I put up a calendar, but it's new and people aren't used to looking for the calendar. Um, the deal with the releases is that this way I can get your stuff out to you quicker. Really, um, everyone can get their stuff faster. And you're, you know, like I, I'll have all of the stuff all the orders from this weekend shipped out by tomorrow. I mean, it'll be packed up today. I have a few more um, where my inventory was off on a couple items. And I had to cut a little more of a few things. But for the most part, it was all ready to go before I released it. And um, in that way... I can just ship it. Yeah, you have a package coming. Yes, Linda. Yeah, it, it, it's much fun. And I feel better about that. I didn't feel as feel good about it when you guys were having to wait. Like, sometimes it was seven days before I could ship it. Because, you know, when you have, you know, three of this and six of this and two of this and one of this. And, and you have to go in and cut each thing. It's just... It just wasn't effective. But this way you guys actually will have it in time to like paint it and enjoy it. Okay. I just did that with a brush. Hi, Carol. Thank you for doing the notify. I appreciate that. She did exclamation notify, no space. And that's going to let her know when I'm live. I appreciate that because you know what? It's hard. Um, I also, you can drop exclamation telegram. That's another way. I have a telegram channel and it's growing. I love that it's growing. I like, I, I do have a text thing too. I have multiple ways to get a hold of you, but I like the text. Um, I like the telegram because it's easy for me to send a little more information than over text. You know, text, you need to go within a certain amount of characters, blah, blah, blah. But on Telegram, I can send pictures. I can send paint colors, all the things. So, okay, this is just linen or vintage white. And I'm just going to go in and paint these. So you can drop exclamation notify to find out when I'm live. Or you can drop exclamation telegram. And I'll give you a link to my Telegram channel. Um. If you want to see what's left from the release on Friday, you can drop exclamation links. Okay. Jennifer said that that's the way to do it and get the orders out quickly. Yeah. It's um, especially, I just would always feel so bad, you know, especially if I've got new people and they order from me and I'm like, Oh no. And they always like, even though it said it on the website, they would miss it. It just was all around. I wasn't able to serve you guys the way I felt you needed to be served, you know? So I, I'm just painting this. I could go in and paint this part um, white and just paint over it, like if I was using a sponge. But since I'm painting this in um, like small pieces, because we're kind of figuring it out as we go, time is it? 2.44. I'm on carpool duty today. So Joe will probably pop on and be like, don't forget about carpool. Um, 
Okay. So the window frames. I just don't know. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Kathleen. Oh, Kathleen's new too. Linda, no, you did not miss um, open window. Hold on just a second. Open window. If you're a business page, I don't know if you'll get notified. Let me know if that works because a lot of times I don't think that it works for business pages. Um, Lisa, yeah, I don't know if it will. Let us know. Um, Jennifer said, one, that's the way to do it. Jimmy says she has a package coming in. It seems quick. That's because I have my new system, girl. Okay. Should I do the door in like brown, do you think? I think I'm going to. Um, so, and welcome Kathleen. She's new. Um, we're so happy to have you here. We're painting a gnome tray if you're just joining us. Um, we have a lot of people that really love the gnomes and this is a super cute tray. So I'm just going to put a wash on this. This is different than how I usually paint my trays, but we just are kind of figuring this one out as we go. Um, I'm reaching over to my water right here. I don't know why I have it on my left side, probably because my right side is cluttered, but Jennifer was saying that's the way to go. And yeah, it, um, Jimmy, it was quick, but that's because like, when it's released, whatever quantity, quantity I have is what's listed. And so then I'm able to, I'm just getting the extra paint off so that it's a light washy brown. That's all I wanted. But um, then I'm able to get them out to you really quick. And then you're able to craft them and you're not waiting seven days. And I love that about the new system. Okay, I'm going to grab a yellow paint marker to do these flower centers. Um, and then Linda asked about the potato chip tasting. No. So, and we've got to do it soon because you know what? So here's what happened. I found the potato chips and then Joe got COVID and then he got better. And then I went to Vegas and I came back and then I got COVID and then I got better. And then I was playing catch up from being out of town and coming back with COVID. It's behind on everything. And then once I caught up, Joe, Joe hurt his back. And that has been my 2024 so far, like in a nutshell. Ooh, this is good. Okay. So a lot of times if you want to test your marker, cause I'm going to glue on top of here, you can just color and see what it looks like. See? So yeah. Um, so that has been my 2024 so far and it has been crazy, like in the craziest way. And so we are going to, but Nate keeps climbing up where I have the potato chips and he wants to eat them and we keep, no, no, we have to do the potato chip tasting. So we'll do it. Maybe we'll take them with us this weekend. We're going back up to get the rental house ready to go on the market. I mean, it was furnished when we bought it, but we've got to do a couple more things and take some pictures, clean some things up like the outside and the leaves and all the stuff. So um, when we go, maybe we'll do it there and we'll take the potato chips and do it from there. That looks pretty good. See how cute that is. There we go. Okay. Love it. I love that. Okay. The only thing I have to decide about are these window frames. And I oh, I almost think they need to be to be brown. I don't kind of think about the window frames. Um where these paint markers are Thule art, and I got them there extra fine acrylic paint pens. Hey, Terry. Um, and I cannot find the same brand on Amazon, but they have a lot of extra fine. I like them, especially for small detail work like this. Jennifer just tested out. So what time is it? 2.49. Um, I think I'm going to paint the ladder run so I have the brown paint out. So, and then Jennifer just tried the new Sharpie acrylic. She said they're not in the crafts 
section. Um, she said they're in the, so I also have, so let me tell you what I used. I'll tell you, these are the Hobby Lobby acrylic paint markers. And I actually really do like these. I got it in extra fine and fat. I don't know, medium tip. And I like these. I like the Pintar, which is kind of like the knockoff of the more expensive brand P Posca. The only thing I'm not crazy about sometimes is like you in a paint marker, you have a specific color, right? Um, but I do like these in terms of how well they cover. Um, and I like most of the colors. Sometimes it's just hard to coordinate with the rest of the tray. But Jennifer really loved those Sharpie acrylic markers. Jennifer, these are the ones I was telling you I have. The Sharpie metallic paint pen. And I dislike these very much. I mean, I this one I haven't even opened because I just, I don't know. I just dislike them very much. Because after a while, the color doesn't stay. Like you start painting with them and then the color changes. And it drives me batty. Yes, I am Eastern time, Terry. Girl, I saw you went live. Yeah, the oil base. Ugh, yuck. They are horrible. You do have to shake your paint markers, but I mean, those, you shake them and they just, um, just no good. No good. Okay, so let's paint this little ladder. So when we put this ladder together, guys, we're going to finish this tray next week. It's going to be a part one and a part two. In between, I've got to figure, <laughs> I'm putting off the eggplant. Yeah, the Arteza, Jimmy, those are, are those the fine ones? I, those are really good too. I've seen people use those, um, especially for like, um, so I'm just doing, I'm just mixing a little water with this paint. That's all. Cause I want this to be like just the wood color. Um, they're great for earrings. I know I'm, I like, I'm not, but if you want to make earrings, they're so good to color in those wood earrings. And these are all a little different in size and they were designed that way so that it feels like playful and natural and like not same, same, if that makes sense. Okay. And because of the way these hang, I'll paint the back too once the front's dry because they hang like down like a ladder. I know you guys are like, wow, Amy. <laughs> You're such a ding dong, Amy. I know sometimes I'm like, yeah, they hang down just like a ladder because they do. Okay. I'm just adding water because I got this one too painty and I don't like it. All right. Let's do the girl gnome. I think I can. Let's do the girl gnome. She is super cute. So our boy was this cloudy day blue. The frog is going to be this green. I was going to do her wings in this vintage white. But we need a good color for her. Who has an idea? I almost want to do her in like a, like paint her in either a pink, like a coral. I'm like, I don't have enough paint colors to pick from. Yeah, she's a fairy gnome, right? Almost like a, a coral or something that feels natural, but maybe is a little girly and fairy-like. You know what I mean? What about that? This is coral. You guys know my favorite pink because I use it all the time. Is conch shell. Oh, but I have this cameo blush, which is really pretty. That would look really pretty with a cloudy day, too. I have the cameo blush. That's a pretty pink. 
conch shell is really pretty. I don't think I want to do rose. I don't think. I don't know. I think this is... Maybe I do. Oh, I like the glitter idea for her wings. I do have glitter. I was thinking some gray, too. You like the cameo blush? We can see how that looks. This is a cottage rose. What do you guys think? Everybody vote. I can't find my conch shell, so I've probably been painting with it somewhere and didn't put it back. Conch shell is what I used on the um, on the bunny ears. Cameo blush, cottage rose. I was kind of thinking the cottage rose looks nicer with the blue. The cameo blush is almost... Okay, we got the most for Cameo Blush. So, so she has lots of parts again, okay? So let's, you just want to kind of be mindful of, now in the Joyful Crafting Club, if you're in the Joyful Crafting Club, I have a plan before I start painting. I generally have a plan in my head even before I come in on a live. But, um, but I, didn't have a super solid plan. And so in the Joyful Crafting Club, I teach you to paint everything like the same colors all at once so that you can get it done quickly. So she has a lot of parts. She's got her hair. She's got her skirt and her dress. Her little dress is two parts. So you could paint it in two parts if you wanted to. Um, I think that... The cameo blush feels a little bit more whimsical and playful. So we're going to try that first. Um, we had, I think we had a tie in terms of votes. So um, I teach you how to paint like the whole thing. I'm like, okay, these are your blue pieces. And so we're going to paint. Oh yeah, that's cute. We're going to paint everything blue all at once. Okay. I think that'll work. I'm going to get my sponge though. So. It goes a lot quicker, hypothetically. I did just say I was going to get my sponge, and then I just decided not to. Yeah, the glitter will be super cute on her wings. I feel like every time I go into the paint store, I buy some more paint. Does anyone else do that? Tell me below in the comments. One or put yes if you buy a new a, a paint color every time you go in the store. Like at least one. Like you go in for something else, but you just walk by the paint aisle and buy something. Because like, why not? Who else does that? Yes, Tracy does. I know, like you just... Okay, I'm just making sure they're both. So I think that either one would look... We got an equal number of votes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's $2. That's how I found the DuraClear. I just bought something new and tried it. And now we all love it. <sighs> Terry said she's that way with ribbon. Um, You know, I used to be, but when I was, like, making door hangers a lot. But now... Okay, now I have an obscene amount of ribbon, if we're going to be honest about it. And um, and I try and buy it. Like, when I when I buy it, I order it with a plan in mind. Like, okay, we're going to use it here. I have so, I have so much ribbon. Like, I, was, I told Joe, I don't know, it was a couple months ago. I'm like, hey, I got to run up to the store. I'm out of ribbon. He's like, how could you possibly be out of ribbon? How can you possibly be out of ribbon? You know, and I'm like, well, no, I didn't mean like I'm out of all of the ribbon. I mean, I'm out of the ribbon I want to use. Yeah, all the colors and sometimes repeats. I know, Jimmy, I bought Cloudy Day multiple times before I even used it. I know Jennifer's got a lot of ribbon. Jennifer and I were having a long conversation about ribbon the other day, weren't we? Let's see, okay, it's 2.59. I'm going to paint her and then... So, so on her, you're going to notice like she has these little boots here and then 
she's got a little bit of leg sticking into the boots. And so you just have to paint the boots and then paint the legs. But her body is going to cover up this part on her wings. So Oh, you finally figured out your ribbon. Good. Good, 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 girl. That was That was like a big choice. I'm going to go ahead and paint this just because it's not that you're going to see it, but it looks stupid. You forget what kind of paint you have and end up buying more. I know. I know. Especially if I haven't used it, you know, if I haven't used it a lot. Like now I know, okay, I've got Cloudy Day and I have Cameo Blush and I have Conch Shell. If I haven't used it in a while, if I haven't said the name out loud, you know, Clover. Oh, I know I've got Clover. There's so many good, like really pretty greens and I pick them up thinking, oh, this will be really great at Christmas time. I'm just going to clean out her score lines. Linda said she needs to make a list of what she has so she can stop duplicating them. Yeah, I mean, but like then you have to keep up with a list. I know you guys asked me to make you a checklist. I might someday make the checklist. There, I just cleaned out those score lines in her boots. You can see that little part where it bends. She's so cute. Okay, flesh. Let's do her legs. Let's do her hands and her nose. Um, put her hair over here. Move the frog. Um, so many little pieces. It's gonna be really cute when it's done. I'm going to use my brush again because so ba, 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 ba. I did start cutting some embellishments. I cut some buttons. Like I've just been adding them on when I've been cutting other stuff. Buttons, tags, hearts. Um Okay, and then let me paint this part. And just, if you're going to use a brush, just lift up, lift up, lift up on the edges. And sometimes it looks a little streaky on the wood because it kind of soaks in a little bit. And the application isn't as what I would think is called consistent. So just know if you sand it or have to go over it. This dried a little darker than what it goes on. So I think it was a good choice because it, 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 um, it dried a little darker than what it looked like when I painted it out of the bottle. I, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna, um, we'll see how many I can get cut. Some of them I just wanna use as gifting. And if I put them in the shop, I'm gonna weigh them. Like, I'm not counting them. I'm just going to be like, okay, this is an ounce of wood buttons or whatever. Because it's a lot of buttons. It's a lot of buttons. But they are cute. Um, but I thought it makes me feel better because I'm not throwing as much out. Okay. The frog. Because it's just, it's so hard to go back and use those tiny little scrap pieces. But, and it's good to know what you guys would want and would want to use, right? Because buttons are always good in the middle of a bow. Around the holidays, like each holiday, you know, like stars are good for 4th of July. Um, Okay, I'm going to paint the frog clover. I'm not sure it's the right frog color, but that's what color it's going to be. 
Yes, Linda says, with the cost of things, you don't want to waste. Yeah. And if you if I don't cut it, cut it like when I do the big run, it's really hard to go back and like fit things in those little tiny spaces. But if I do it before I cut it, like when I set up the initial file, he's cute. I do like the frog. Then it, um, then it helps. I'll show you guys when I finish the frog, I'll show you this button that I found. Um, I think it was after we were finished with the live on Monday with the sparrows. It's an old wood button and I put it like I found it in my little collection of, of buttons. Cause I'll, I used to like pick up buttons on Facebook marketplace and antique shows and you know i find like a collection of buttons for five bucks or something and i old buttons and i buy it um and i just would use them for different things i just have a whole big stash i don't know i like the buttons and in fact for the joyful crafting club box we decided on the button in the middle of the bow at the last minute and so I was going through my button stash to see, do I have enough white buttons in here to send everyone a button from my stash? And I did not. So I had to go source buttons. But I did like that little bow we put on there. Let me show you guys. Look how cute that is. And that's just a wood button from my... For my collection i think it's wood or it's painted plastic i don't know but how cute is that and, the, and it was just the perfect color like it was already that color i love i love 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 i've got to do a picture of that i don't know what this is doing there so yeah i know but then jennifer you would have had to like overnight me the buttons but yeah i'm gonna knock things over okay Let's do it. It's 306. Let's paint her hair. I think I'm going to paint her hair gray, white. The, just like I painted his, his, um, his beard. And then I'm going to do her wings in white. And then we'll come back and we'll do the glitter and the other stuff next week. And finish it up. The birds turned out so good. They are so cute. I mean, I really do love those birds. The, the birds. The stencil was definitely like the, what I think made it, that stencil. And I am so impressed. I don't know if, if you guys have ever stenciled, um, like with these thicker, like vinyl type stencils where you, are they reusable? I just find them so much harder to use and to get them, um, to get them, ooh. And to get them like very precise and clean on the edges, sometimes I feel like it looks a little messy, right? And so I really loved that that stuck so well. I mean, that was the first time I'd used that stuff. And the, the stencil was so clean and so crisp. And when I pulled it off, like there was no messy like... edges or anything. It was just so nice. Okay. So there's her hair. There's her wings. She's looking cute. I'm going to put more coat on her wings. All right, guys. Okay. So we just have the, the eggplant house, the window frames, which I'm not sure what to do about the window frames just yet. The eggplant and the little bee, the snail, and the always believe in magic sign. And like, then we can just distress, sand, and put together. So we can finish this next week. It'll be an easy finish, I think. A couple of signs and put it together. How cute. She's going to be. Look at this. She's going to be so cute. I think she needs like some, some polka dots. I'm going to, um, I'm going to distress her hair. Like her hair isn't going to stay this white. It's going to be different than that. 
I'm going to change her hair, but I just wanted the first coat to be brown or white because this is too, it's too, too much the same, but I'm going to go back and sand it and distress it and add some, some color in. I was thinking gray because I wanted her to be an old gnome, but we could like an old fairy gnome, but I could do add some brown. You could also sand this down and you could rub the decor wax on it and then wipe it off and it'll look really cool. It won't look, um, if you just paint it brown, it will, you know, it'll just look really solid brown, but I want it, I want it to be fun and whimsical. Um, okay. So yeah, she's going to be crazy cute. But yeah, I agree, Dixie. It doesn't need to just be white on white. All right, guys. Um, I have got to, I'm going to clean this up and run to carpool and pick, pick Lucas up from school. Let me take the, um, we will finish up part two next week. Get Joe to come craft with me maybe the week after. But um, thank you guys. Let's, let's do the wheel. Let's do the wheel. Hold on. Let's do the wheel. Let's do the wheel. I know I love this tray. It's so it's it's fun, and I I'm not like the I'm not the um oh they they're gonna pick me who's Gail? Look at that! Gail is the Happy Meal winner today. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Woo! <laughs> We're clapping. Yay! Uh, you see, I will. If I can get it in the cutting schedule, I will. Um, I don't think if I can get it in, I'm going to be able to do as many as I did this time. Because this is, like, I'm talking, like, a slow, a slow cut and a slow unload. Um but I am, I, I hear y'all that y'all want the gnomes back. I do. I do. Um, all right, Gail. So you're here, girl. So I will get your happy meal and I already have you in my system. I'm going to send all the happy meal at the same time. So Deanne was our first happy wheel mail winner. Um, and Gail, but I'm going to ship it all on the same day. I'm just going to batch that. So that's easier. And today's I'll, Actually, I'm going to try and get it all out tomorrow before because we're leaving tomorrow and we're going up to get the rental house ready. So, yes, it does. It And it's just, um, I do love it. It's very, very cute. It would be, if if I'm able to do it for the next time, it would be in next, next week's. So, okay, guys, thank you so much. Gail, I've got your name written down. Um. I appreciate y'all. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today. It's a bright spot in my week for sure. Um, I might have to practice the eggplant. <laughs> I'm nervous about the eggplant. I've never painted an eggplant. But um, you guys, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. And crafting, it just, it's like I said, it is the bright spot in my day. I, I love y'all. I'll be back um, Monday at 2.30 um, crafting live. So make sure to come check that out. Um, thank you guys for all of you guys who hit the notify and the telegram so that you can be a little more connected. And um, y'all keep crafting and spreading joy through the beautiful things you make because the world needs your creativity. I love you. Have a great rest of your day.